everybody and welcome back to Time To Go Travel and Time Pieces. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a double dose of the show. Um, first of all, I'm going to do a, just a quick review of the Casio calculator watch. I had done an unboxing a few weeks ago. I'll uh, share a link in the description below if anybody hasn't checked that out. Um, after that, I just wanted to share with you my latest watch purchase, which is the Certina DS Action Diver. I uh, just picked this up a few days ago. So let's switch the camera around and take a closer look at the watches. Okay, so let's just start this off by getting some of the basic specs of the Casio out of the way. Uh, first of all, as far as the case size, we are looking at a case width of 33 millimeters. Lug to lug is 42, and it's got a thickness of 7 millimeters, so it's quite a thin watch. Also, I'd like to point out the weight of this watch. It comes in at 29 grams, so it's very lightweight. Now, there's one question mark when it comes to the specs for me. You'll see here at the top of the watch, it says water resist doesn't say how water resistant it is so I've been treating it as if it's a five meter water resistant so it's you know it's okay in the rain washing your hands I wouldn't trust it beyond that though when it comes to the water resistance so let me just do a quick run through of the functions of the Casio first of all on the home screen we have our time and the day up in the top right hand corner press the function button once and we get to the calculator we have an alarm dual time so a second time zone and a stopwatch I do have to say I find a lot of the functions on this watch particularly the calculator a little bit hard to use my fingers are a bit big for the buttons is all um, I haven't really found many situations where I actually needed the calculator and at the end of the day I really bought this because it brought back memories of my childhood before I give you guys a quick wrist shot of the Casio I also just wanted to point out the strap I expected this to be a lot stiffer and it is quite soft actually and very comfortable on the wrist also the buckle although being quite basic is signed Casio uh, I'm not sure if you can see that or not it is signed Casio which is a nice little touch so let's just try it on so you guys can see what it looks like on wrist alright so I have to say I've been having a ton of fun with this watch of all of my collection I have never been complimented more on a watch uh, people just seem to notice this thing for some reason and I'm being approached all the time with it on um, so the only downfall I would have to say is there's no backlight on the watch but it, it's just a fun piece it's less than twenty dollars and I've been really enjoying it um, so I think that's it for the Casio let's take a quick look at the Certina all right, so on to the Certina. Um, I had been looking for a blue dialed diver for a few months now. I looked at the Hydro Conquest by Longin, the, I looked at this particular Certina, the Squale, a few different ones, and this became available on the second hand market locally uh, from a collector in my area. So I got it for a great price in pretty much new condition. Uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. I've had it for four or five days now. I will be wearing it for at least another week and then I will come back to you guys with the full review of the Certina. Um, I just love the blue dial in the sunlight. It is just gorgeous. But uh, I just wanted to share with you my latest purchase and again we'll be having a full review shortly. So let's turn things back around and wrap this up. All right, everybody, thanks so much for stopping in and checking out my review of the Casio Calculator Watch. Uh, again, I will be having a review of the Certina very shortly, so make sure you check back often. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.